guys. It's your one and only Green Wingman um, to the Eagles Nation. I want to wish everybody a wonderful Happy New Year. I hope their holidays were good. I hope everybody got what they wanted. I hope uh, everybody enjoyed themselves last night. Um, maybe you guys are still still partying from last night. I um, hope everybody was safe. Um, so I want to talk about a little bit uh, about yesterday's. Well, let's not talk about a little bit of last night's game because it, it's really not that important. I mean, Dallas beat us 6-0. to zero. Um, but let's honestly be there. Neither team or the fan bases wanted to be at that game. It was it was clear that Dallas just didn't want them to be there. Um, the Eagles didn't really want them to be there. And I think we're all we're just praying at <laughs> four quarters of really bad football. Um, that um, yeah, I think at that point, like somebody please score because both fan bases just did not want to be there. I think the Eagles, Eagles fan base, and the Dallas Cowboys fan base can both agree to it. We just wanted that game to end. So, uh, just to really kind of forget about just bad football, um, to end off the NFL season, I, I just want to talk about let's talk about confidence. You know, uh, it's twenty eighteen. Let's talk about a little bit of thing of confidence and. Over the last uh, two games um, that you know we've we've witnessed now with the Oakland Raiders and now with the Dallas Cowboys is that I'm starting to fear that Nick Foles might be losing his confidence. And the reason why I say that I think we gotta understand and look at the position that this young man is being placed in. You are, you're searching to put in a lot of pressure. He's basically coming in for the most valuable QB in the league. I mean, please, we're not going to sit down and, and, and knock on that. I mean, it's clear. I mean, Carson Wentz has been playing out of his mind. He was leading, what, 33 touchdowns, seven interceptions. I think he was still leading even after the end of three weeks. Um, that might have changed. Uh, somebody posted in the comments below that has changed. So I think that still kind of puts Carson Wentz in contention. But 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 that's the kind of thing that um that Nick Foles is competing against. You're competing against a dude that is hurt, that is still still in talks for MVP contention, and he hasn't taken a snap in three weeks. And that's a lot of pressure for a guy like Nick Foles, even though he's coming back into a good situation. He was was Doug. He knows the office. He knows the people, the staff that works there. So he's in a far more better position to succeed. But you're asking a dude to come in in three weeks and try to live up to that guy's standards. I think it's becoming. I I, I think on, on top. Uh, you know, our fan base is very passionate. It can be so rabid towards a lot of our players if we if we get frustrated and we get disgruntled on what we see on the field. And I'm starting to think that that could start to affect the psyche of us, Nick Foles, who right now we understand does not have any of the, car the abilities of Carson Wentz. And nor should he. He should try to go and be Nick Foles and do what, what is catered to his strengths, and um, and I think you know when when you go in there and 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 I, and you would think that should not affect players. You you're a mercenary who's getting paid a ton of money. Uh, you should just go out there and perform the best that you can. But you know you got to think about that now that you are the second backup who's now going to be taking um, spots with the first stringers. And you're going out there, and then you're hearing people cheer Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz, the guy's injured, man. I mean, the guy played amazing, but you're cheering MVP. And then if you're a quarterback like Nick Foles, you have to think those little things start to affect you. And I understand that Nick Foles will go into his conferences and say that we're cool. I'm cool with Carson Wentz, and, and I'm not trying to sit down and knock on that. But you have to think that little by little, that's starting to affect your psyche. Also trying to put the perception of what he did back in 2013 when he went for that crazy 27 and 7 27 touchdowns 7 interceptions not only we as a fan base are trying to hope to expect that guy to sit down and come back but also try to live up to that same height as of Carson Wentz and I think when you when we start to see three and out 
and then another three and out, and another three and out, and then we as a fan base start to get disgruntled. We start to get frustrated. We start to see our teams not putting up 30, 40 points that we seem to be used to over the last six, seven, eight weeks. We get frustrated. We take that out on our quarterback, and I think eventually soon, you're starting to hear that negativity sit down and drown on a quarterback that has to fill up incredible shoes, and I think slowly that's starting to affect the way the offense works. Guys like Tory Smith, I mean, Tory Smith has not been good, but he misses a critical pass. Um, you, uh, Ashon Jeffries basically not been seen. Nelson Aguilar starts to get shut down. All wide receivers that were re regarded to be very good now feel like we're starting to think now they're being digressed. The offensive line, which has done such a great job holding up to this point, is starting to, f to collapse. You know, uh, Vitae right now is starting to give up a lot of his left side. We don't have Chance Warmack holding on that left side. Lane Johnson's getting hit with bad penalties. Um, our running back, our, 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 which I thought was our... our our strength, our core, was our was our four horsemen in Clement and and, and Legarrette Blunt and Ajayi and even Kenyon Barton to a certain extent are not hitting the holes like they're getting. They're only getting what four point five a clip, um, where they were getting so much more and then some. Um, you're starting to f see once now that the quarterback is starting to lose a little bit of confidence, and I'm starting to feel that that's starting to fester in more and more in that offense. And and I think Doug Peterson is in a really tough position because right now he wants to still try to implement the same strategy that we do with Carson Wentz. We all knew as a fan base that you had to tailor it to fit Nick Foles' strengths. But I think right now, and I'm starting to fear this as a fan base, I think a lot of people in that Novacare complex are trying to convince themselves that they can sit down and get it done and maybe that's not a possibility and now listen i'm i'm as positive as i can get and i still think i'm positive i still think they can get this turned around in two weeks but you can't help to fear that maybe doubt is starting to sink in that maybe they can't get this done and they're going to be on national television playing either i believe it would be either carolina or atlanta which i think is what the uh, first seat takes on either the sixth and the fourth or yeah, six and a fourth, I believe. Uh, please correct me um, down there. Um. So yeah, I think I I'm starting to think that maybe Nick Foles is starting to lose a little bit of his confidence, and now and, and now we're, we're I can't believe we're we're starting to have a really premature discussion that maybe Nate Sudfield should start to come in and listen uh, because I think as a fan base that has been so conditioned um, with Carson Wentz, we start to see a little bit of those talents. Yes, sure, Nate Sudfield has some qualities, and one of the reasons why they believe that they brought him on uh, to uh, be the third string quarterback behind Wentz and Nick Foles. Um, but yeah, he wasn't that much much any better than Nick Foles, but you know, you're gonna start seeing a couple of our kooky fan base starting to come out of the word work, uh, chant his name, and, and in all fairness, depending how bad Nick Foles plays, that might not be a possibility, because listen, you know, it's, it's one and done from here on out, but, so, I mean, I'm not going to be here to sit down and convince any uh, my Eagles nation what they how how to feel about this team. Um, you know, you go in there and you feel how you feel. You feel frustrated about the team. You have every right. This offense in the last two weeks has not performed the way that we thought. Um, has barely been able to move the change, and there is a little bit of concern. But I do feel. You know, I, I do feel that, you know, as, as a unit, uh, as a positive unit uh, of us as, as passionate fans can really rally and put confidence back into a team to show that they can do it. And I understand. I'm not saying that you can't cheer for Carson Wentz. Listen, Carson Wentz is a man. But you have, I think we have to consider that, that, you know, all that news added to the fact that the fan base just feels down, added to the fact that the national pundits or not give us are pretty much now jumped ship after what everything we've done to you know to be a 13 3 team the fact that we are a 13 3 team that hold the number one seed could start to affect the psyche 
of Nick Foles. And I feel like maybe as a fan base, as a strong unit, in, in, and I'm hoping in that our first televised second round game against whoever we play, um, that we can somehow like build and, and rally up, um, you know, just trying to build a rallying cry. Uh, no, I think we have the, no, did I say? I think, no, I think it was the Rams. I think it was the Rams and somebody else. I think Rams or New Orleans. I think it's we either play the Rams or New Orleans. I'm sorry, I thought it was Carolina and uh, Atlanta. But, uh, or maybe I'm wrong. Again, sorry, correct me from that. I, I just jumped ship. Anyway, getting back to my point. Um, But but I, I just think it's a powerful unit and it's as, as dedicated and passionate as the Eagles fan base. And I, I think this is the time where... I, and I, again, I can't tell anybody to act how they think, but I think if this is a team that is craving for confidence and, and to build, you know, to get rid of behind the team, I think this is, has to be the moment. I think this is the moment where, okay, we kind of try our best to put doubt inside and try to rally this base. I get it. It could be a little bit of blind faith. I know people want to be realistic about it, but, you know, stranger things can happen. You know, and, and and I really do believe in, in, in the faith and and, and, and and strong positivity that maybe we can somehow wield this team to get their confidence back, to get some of the mojo, and to give that confidence to Nick Foles, who is clearly needs it more than anybody else on the squad. And I think when the caught when the QB is corner is confident. Everybody is confident. Offensive line is going to block harder. Uh, wide receivers will play out of their mind once again like they did for Carson Wentz and fight to get open. A lot of these wide receivers haven't been open for the last two weeks, and maybe it's just because of the confidence of Nick Foles is just not there. So, uh, I mean, I mean, what I'm saying really is uh, might be superficial, but I think there's something towards that when a fan base, as a strong-willed fan base as the, as the Philadelphia Eagles are, can rally around and get them to play above their weight. And, and that's what I think. Um, so, um, again, Eagles Nation, for the people that sit down and watch this, I would love to hear your confidence about what I said. Do you think there is something to what I'm saying? Do you think... Um, you know, maybe you're, you're over exaggerating in this. Um, uh, again, like I said, I'm not here to change the way that people should think. This is again, what my opinion on, on the whole situation. Um, uh, yeah, I think this is the moment where us as, as the fan base really have to try to rally around the team and believe that they can get it done, depending on whoever the opponent is, because let's be honest, the NFC is, is tough. Whoever they're gonna play is gonna be a tough opponent. They can't run away from that. You, 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 you know the only like the the only way, the only way out is through, man. And you know, as this fan base, as passionate as this fan base, we gotta be the batter ram to rally behind them and get them, hopefully, to a Super Bowl to play in Minnesota. Um, so, uh, that being said, like I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below, um, uh, to the Eagles fan base, uh, to everybody out there who's sitting down watching this, have a wonderful, safe new year, I hope everything that works out for you, hope goes in stride, and like I said, I, I am your green wingman, happy 2018, go birds.